As a tradesman in construction, we are a little bit like the military. Everything starts with ranks. Not everybody can start as a boss. So in this video, we'll be talking about what to expect on every stage from becoming an apprentice all the way to becoming a master. As you start, when you make the great decision of becoming a tradesman, you are what we call an apprentice. So when you start as an apprentice, you, the first few days, they're gonna test you out. You're gonna be the go-getter, go get whatever they need. They're gonna teach you every single little stupid thing they don't like to do. They're gonna be treating you as one of their children because that's what you are in the job. You just come out of the womb. You're starting to become a man and they're gonna make, let you know that. If you have never worked in construction and you really have soft feelings about words, don't go there. You won't like it. Not only are they gonna have a nickname for you, they wanna make you go to the van and pick up something that doesn't even exist. They wanna tease you for your Ryobi tools. They're gonna make fun of the clothing you wear, of complaining from the heat, for the cold. You just become a fun thing to have around. Just remember that your position as an apprentice is, as the name says it, is to learn. You're there to learn from those who have done it for longer than you have. Either the job is stupid in your mind or it's not, it's a step that we all had to learn. We, we were all apprentices at one point or another. We only know how to treat apprentices for what we were treated. We're just passing that, that knowledge down the only way we were taught. Don't take it the wrong way. This shit goes away eventually. As you start learning and you're becoming in some states, it's called a first year or you are more than an apprentice. Now you're not just sweeping the floor, bringing materials, carrying your German's tools and, you know, mumbling around the fucking job like you own the place. Now you actually have tasks you have to complete every day. You still have to do the apprentices shit, but then now you have things to do after because you got quicker, you got smarter. Now you're actually focused on the job and you don't get so hurt about the teasing anymore or the nicknames. So you get tasks. Either you're the guy holding something or installing, making your first installs of whatever, either HVAC, plumbing, electrical, framing. You start doing something that actually matters. At first you were doing the things nobody wanted to do that ways the higher pay people's time. Now you're actually starting to help the ones that know what I'm doing. This is a great time for you. Now they're not treating you like a child. They're actually speaking to you in big words that they believe you can understand. Not for everybody it's a fact, but for most of you it is. You start becoming part of the job. You start becoming a person that might be telling the new apprentice what to do, but then it gets a step higher second or third year uh, for some states in some of them other places you don't need it is just based on experience but as you start getting higher on the level now you don't do the apprentices stuff anymore you're doing what you were doing helping and your task just got a little bigger now you actually have some knowledge of what it is that you're doing you know why you're doing it and how it's supposed to be done so not only do you watch your job but you watch everybody below you as you start getting higher in the rank you start becoming in charge of the ones below the rank. So now you have to look for the same shit they used to tell you, don't do it this way. Now you gotta tell somebody else. Now you're gonna be teasing somebody versus people teasing you. Now, don't get me wrong. For the journeyman, you're still a little bit of the bitch, but now we have a better bitch that we can tease. So now they're not coming so hard on you because you have a job to do, which is check the people below you and get your job completed. He will check everybody. You have got to the point where not only are you doing work, now you actually know why you're doing it and how it's supposed to be done and how it's supposed to help. And what is it that you're doing that becomes beneficial when the building, the house, whatever it is that you're doing becomes something. A house that starts with a slab, gets the walls up. If you are within the process, now you get to look at a house. Now you start feeling like you belong. I believe that most of the people that start in the very, very beginning stages all the way to a third year level don't really enjoy doing it because they don't find it as it makes sense. Everything is like, why do we do it this way? Why not doing it this way? You got all the fucking ideas in the world. You want to make the circle different. But as soon as you get to the fourth year, you start realizing that, oh shit, it was a reason behind of why I was told or thought how to do it in a different way. Then you get to right before the journeyman. Now they're finally leaving you in the job in trust of some of the things that the journeyman gets to do. 
Why? You have earned the trust of the people on the field. Now they see you as a micro boss, as somebody who can actually tell them, stop fucking off. You can tell them the lunch is over. You can tell them, start teasing them, that's too much. You can tell them at what time they can go home. You can tell them if they're going to work overtime. So you're a micro boss because the gentleman told you that you could do that. Okay. Now, either you had school or not to get to this point is not the case of the video. The case of the video is that now you have passed four levels from the beach to being respected. Then you get to the hard one, which is becoming a journeyman. At this point, you probably took some schooling already. You had to take some tests. You are actually the man on the job. Not only do you run yourself of what you do on the job, now you're in charge that everything that is on a set of plans or on somebody's head becomes something. You are in charge of the micro boss. You are in charge of the people below him could be nerve wracking when you just start. You're afraid of fucking up. It's okay. Fuck something up. That's your best way of learning. You're getting into a stage where you don't know everything, but they're throwing you into the den. Now you got to fight, face the lions, right? It's nerve wracking at first. It gets comfortable as time passes. You are preparing yourself and that company that gives you that job is preparing you for what it comes next. Right now, you are the person in charge of an entire project for this company to either make a profit or lose money. Yes, your head is in the chopping board now. At first, you were not too concerned about your job just because it was plenty of that. Right now, you fuck up the job, you can lose your job. So make sure that you're learning on the process. Then from there, it goes to becoming a master. Either master electrician, plumber, master framer, master drywaller. As you become this, now you have all the responsibilities of the journeyman, but now you get to pull permits and have the city on your ass. Not only do you know the code, now you have to get in there with somebody who thinks he knows it better than you. And you need to learn how to speak to these fools. Some inspectors are very knowledgeable. They were tradespeople. They understand the struggles that we go through. Some of them are book leakers. Some of them just want to fight you what the book says, but they don't understand it. You have to be patient to both of them. You can't pick a fight with an inspector. And I know some of you will say, well, I took a fight with him and I fucking won. Yeah, and you fell every fucking inspection after. It's just the way it works. The anarchy of construction doesn't stop or starts when you become a master. Or it doesn't stop when you become an inspector. You're always going to have the anarchy. Somebody above you that thinks he knows better than you. But at least you can say that I made it to a master. Now I'm not only in charge of the job. Now I get to build for the job. Now, if you're a master and you're working for a company, I'm sorry to tell you, you're nothing but a journeyman. You should have your own business and actually try to make something better of yourself. But people get comfortable with a paycheck. I understand that too. Those are the stages as I recognize them, as I have worked them for over 20 years. That's how it happened to me. I'm not saying that's how it happened to the people inside the company, but I cannot guarantee that. I'm not on the field all the time. Construction is not a forever job unless than you wanted it to be. It does have a way out. You just have to have the balls to go do it. And then from there, the sky is the limit. If this video was helpful to, helpful to you, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I hope to see you guys in the field.